Bros, my name is... Dang it, I thought I was PewDiePie again. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 73,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. <laughs> now, before I get started on the video, guys, I just want to quickly address something and talk about something to you guys something that I recently learned uh, from my manager who emailed me yesterday and told me that 75% of my views are coming from people that are not subscribed to me so if you are new here and you're not subscribed please subscribe it will help me out a lot and it's it's not gonna cost you a penny so just drop a little subscribe on that little red button down there and it will really help me out a lot and also um, I've noticed that YouTube's been screwing about lately with the whole posting things to people's feeds so hit that notification bell so that way you will get a notification when I upload a video but anyway back to the video once again I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video and today we are talking about another haunted place and this haunted place is called the screaming tunnel so the screaming tunnel is a true story about a haunted tunnel which is located in Niagara Falls, Ontario. The tunnel is famous for its true story about a girl who burned to death in the middle of the tunnel. But enough of the jibba jabber, let's get right over to the story. The Screaming Tunnel. There is a tunnel in Niagara Falls, Ontario that locals call the Screaming Tunnel. It is located just under the old railroad tracks near Warner Road. As the story goes, over a century ago, a family lived in a large farmhouse that stood in the field at the top of the hill, close to the tunnel. One fateful night, the farmhouse caught fire as flames raged through the building the air was shattered by a young girl's screams. The family were trapped in the house, and they burned to death. When the fire is eventually put out, and the firefighters were sifting their way through the wreckage, they found the charred bodies of all the family members, except for the daughter. Searching the surrounding area, they found the burned corpse of the young girl inside the tunnel at the bottom of the hill. They assumed that she had fled from the house, her clothing engulfed in flames, running into the tunnel in an attempt to extinguish her burning garments. Overcome by the flames, she must have collapsed and died alone in its depths. But they could never figure out what had caused the fire in the first place. Some say that the fire was started by a local butcher who had become obsessed with the young girl. Wearing a mask, he sneaked up to the farmhouse in the middle of the night and set it on fire in an attempt to kidnap her. When she tried to escape through the tunnel, he burned her alive. Others say that it was the girl's own father who murdered her. They claim he became mentally deranged when he found out that he had lost custody of his children in a bitter custody battle with his wife. In a fit of anger, he lit the fire, and when his daughter escaped the flames, he chased her down and burned her to death. Whoever her killer was, everyone agrees that the ghost of the young girl still haunts the tunnel. According to the legend, if you stand in the middle of the tunnel and light a match she will blow it out immediately and you will hear the agonized death screams of the burning girl the middle of the tunnel is unusually cold and people who have visited the tunnel always get that feeling that they are being watched one person who visited the screaming tunnel wrote I'm from Niagara Falls and yeah the stories are true. My dad was telling me him and some friends went to the tunnel 
when they were kids. The tunnel is pitch black and you can't see the exit when you go in. His friend lit a match and it blew out instantly and he heard the girl screaming. He also heard a man's voice yelling. The reason the fire started was that a man had broken into the house while the family was sleeping and set the house on fire and followed the girl into the tunnel and set her on fire. The reason a match will instantly be blown out in the tunnel is because the man who set the house on fire used a match to start the fire. And that is the end of that very scary story, but also very, very sad. Like, I feel bad for the girl. I feel bad for the family. It's burning to death, man. It's one of my biggest fears. I think it's everybody's biggest fear. Who wants to burn to death? God. But also, I can't imagine anything more scary than being in that tunnel in the middle of the night, all alone, and striking a match, and then hearing the screams just after it blows out. I think the fact that you can't see anything just makes it a whole lot scarier. Like, you wouldn't even know which way to run. I'd be running into the walls. Uh, it just, it'd be crazy. I would also be kind of scared. Like, it doesn't say this in the story, but I would also be very scared of, like, if I struck a match. And then, like, that movie where the, the woman's in the basement. I can't remember the movie. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But the, the woman's, like, locked in the basement, and she strikes a match. And she's, like, looking down the stairs. And then all of a sudden this pair of hands like comes out of the darkness right behind her and claps and the candle goes out oh my god i just gave myself chills oh my god omg but anyway my question to all of you guys for question of the day is would you go down this tunnel alone in the middle of the night and strike a match let me know in the comment section that is question of the day but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video as always if you did hit that like button down below let's see if we can go for a trillion likes on this video i would really appreciate that and like i said guys if you are new here please drop a subscribe uh it would mean a lot to me i'm getting very close to 100,000 subscribers and i want to get there pretty soon i'm getting very impatient like it's it's crazy and if you haven't yet please hit that notification button to make sure that you get notified whenever i upload a video thank you remember the most important thing of all guys chase your dreams i love you all and don't let anybody bring you down peace out